people, how you guys doing? Okay? All right, I'm back. I am back. Okay, people. Welcome to It's Life, Dude. I am that dude. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining me. Folks, I was thinking about the kind of content I want to put up today. And I've seen a picture of one of my very, very best friends. So I'd like to talk about that brother today. Um, we're just going to call him T. Uh, this is a childhood friend. My brother to this day, love him dearly with all my heart. He's just like one of my brothers, literally. We grew up that close. I mean, he practically lived in my house. <laughs> Even when I went off to school, he lived in my house. This dude, you know, I'll, I'll protect him to no end, to no end. He's a solid dude, very good friend. And I seen the picture today, and uh, it, it it brought me back. T is a solid dude. We grew up together uh, upstate New York, and uh, one of my really, 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 I mean, he, he was the, like the ride or die dude. This dude right here, solid, solid. I seen his picture today, and it brought me way back. I was like, man, I, I just wish I could talk to him. I mean, he calls me when he can. Uh, but uh, he's really hard to get a hold of. Really hard to get a hold of. He called me recently and told me that uh, told me that he was that he was married. I was like, you you what? He was like, yeah, I'm married. I was like, you what? I had to ask him three or four times because I couldn't believe what I was hearing. He's like, yeah, man, I'm married. I'm like, what? <laughs> T, congratulations to you, man. I wish I was there. I did not know that last. Uh, telephone call that we were we had it was it was crazy uh when you, if you see this video man call me back okay call me back because uh it it it, it surprised me to no end uh and uh I was shocked I was literally shocked I was flabbergasted but uh you keep doing what you're doing brother but let me continue my story before I get all uh, crazy and nostalgic Excuse me. So, we grew up in upstate New York, uh, uh, and uh, he lived down the hill from me. Uh, we went to the same school together, and I met him in junior high, uh, in, in junior high school. And uh, and uh, he was a little skinny kid. He used to hang out with this other kid named Benny, and uh, and uh, they used to just hang out and everything and. And it was just these two little dudes, and they were they were like really small. I mean, real, Benny was short and and and, and crazy, and and T was just skinny, a little taller than Benny. And they used to hang out tough. Those those two dudes, they used to hang out tough, and 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 it was cool, you know, just to see them like that. And uh, I'll never forget it. Uh, certain guys in school used to like try to pick on Benny and T. But they didn't know that T had family there, and and one of T's families knocked this one kid slam out. I was like, oh my goodness! In the lunch line, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it because uh, there was another kid picking on him, and that dude, uh, I think it was Tommy. This dude named I, I forgot his name. Maybe Tommy. Anyway, I don't know. I, I forget. But anyway, uh. The kid was picking on T, and uh, one of T's relatives w was at the school, and he was in a higher grade than us. And he came and straight knocked that dude on his butt. Well, needless to say, nobody didn't bother T anymore. <laughs> they didn't pick on him no more. And, and you know, and and he wasn't the kind of kid who would run around starting trouble or nothing like that. He was not that kind of guy, not at all. And he's not that kind of guy. You know, he keeps to himself, really quiet, laid back. But dude got jokes for days. Dude is so funny, and and one of the best freestyle rappers I've I've heard. You know, even even from up there, from upstate, because um, there was there wasn't a lot of good freestyle rappers, and he was the one who got me, um, really getting into the freestyle stuff. 
I mean, he really, really got me into it because he was really that good, and I, w I wanted to be good like that. I mean, he would just come out of nowhere and have lines, and he'd be, he'd be, he'd have bars, you know. And and he, to this day, he still got bars, you know. You know, if we if we get together now, I, I guarantee you, first thing we would do is make some music. I got some of his music, matter of fact. Um, him and his nephew came to my studio before I left uh, state, and I I, I got. Uh, I got his music and I got T's music. I got his nephew's music and, and his music. But it was crazy. It was crazy because I, I didn't. I, I was so shocked when I heard him rock because it had been years, but, you know, since I heard him do his thing. And man, I was like, wow! I gotta find that. Now I gotta find a song. Now I'm trying to turn this computer on. Now I gotta find it because uh, <laughs> because uh, I, I need to hear it. I, I actually need to hear that. Because, uh, that's, I mean, he was really, really, he was so good. He was so good. And he's still good. He, he can still freestyle like nobody's business. He just come off the top of his head. With, and we used to go back and forth, you know. Um, we would have, you know, we would do this thing where, you know, somebody would throw out a, 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 a scenario or a word or, or, or concept. And we would just go off the top of the head and, and bounce back and forth off of each other, what we're talking about. And um, it, it was so much fun because, you know, that's how we sharpened each other's tools. And then uh, when I started playing in the band, he came with me a lot of times, and we called ourselves TL Ski. Or, 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 or what was it? T no, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's what he called himself, TL Ski. And, uh, and, uh, Oh, two ski, two ski. We had this song called "Yo, Don't Even Start." Two ski in the house, coming straight from the heart. <laughs> and we played with the, the prime time band, and we made that up right there on the fly. And then we just started doing it every time he came because he came to all of my shows, and and you know, um, and a lot of times he would just get up there and rhyme with me. It was crazy. We would get up there and kill it, and 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 we had so much fun, man. I'll never forget it. We had so much fun. I'm, I'm thinking about it now, just putting a smile on my face because. She is that solid dude. Brother, if you hear me, if you see this, give me a holler, man. Give me a holler. Tell Donnie to give you. If you see Donnie, tell him to give you the number. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. We were, uh, we were, uh, killing it back in the days, you know? So, yeah. That was my dude, you know? I just wanted to share that because I saw that picture and I was like, wow. That's my brother right there, T. That's my brother right there, man. I can't can't believe it. I saw that picture and I was like, dang, oh man, I gotta holler at him. I gotta holler at him. I would put his picture up, but you know, I didn't. I haven't seen him. I haven't talked to him. And I I, I don't think that'd be cool just to do that, you know. But uh, uh, if I if he if I get permission from him, I'll I'll put it up. And this is episode 163, so I'll let him know that it you know. Just check out episode 163, bro, and then, uh, you know, you know you know what's good, you know? Yeah, man, this is this one is dedicated to my brother, man, back in the days. And now, when um, he protected my family uh, in a way to know when he, one day I wasn't home, and uh, and uh, my kid's mom was, was at the house, and he had just stopped by because uh, me and him had worked at the same spot up there. And uh, uh, I don't know, uh, some, something had happened because we had just moved in, into this place. And then we had some downstairs neighbors who weren't so kind. Well, they started uh, being disrespectful. And then, uh, and so um, he, he was protecting, you know, my people, my family, when I wasn't at work, and I and and I had heard about it, and they they called me and was like, "This is going on, that's going on, this is going on, that's going on," and I was like, "Dude, I'm so glad you did that. I am so glad you did what you did." And uh, you know, I'll never forget that. That brother is a stand-up brother, straight up, straight up, stand-up brother, stand-up. Yeah, because uh, I wasn't even supposed to work that day. That's why he he had came over. I was supposed to be off, but I ended up going into work, and I don't. I don't think he knew that. Um, he didn't. He didn't know it because usually I'm off that day, and he would come over on my days off, and we would just hang out. 
and um, and um, and it just so happened that uh, that situation transpired, and he was there. And I thank God because, man, something would have happened. Oh, whoo! Ugly, ugly. And the people downstairs was different. But anyway, you know that's what solid friends is about. You know that's what that's what solid friends are about. So when I seen this picture today, I thought about him, and I thought about all of that. And it just brought me back. And, you know, I don't have, you know, but a true handful of people that I would even consider calling friends. Um, you know, you know, there's people I associate with and, and work with and, you know, that's that's different environments. But people that, you know, you can really trust and rely on and you come up with that that's really got your back, you know, that's far and few between and the hard to come by, and, you know. I'm talking about people who aren't your family members, because the majority of my people is, you know, we we our family hung tight together. We didn't we never hang around a whole bunch of different people. We hung around our family unit. So to to grow up with a brother like this, you know, and he became our, our family unit. He, like I said, he he literally lived at our house. <laughs> he was always there. <laughs> Wherever you would see me, you would see T. Always, 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 always. I mean, that dude's like peanut butter and jelly, man. Inseparable. For real, for real. I'm telling you. I mean, dude was solid. He was a solid, cool brother, man. We'd hang out, chill. You know, we never got in any, like, trouble or anything. We were always trying to keep each other out of the bull stuff. You know what I mean? We were always trying to lift each other up, you know, you know, because we, we wasn't about them streets like that. We wasn't. You know, we was about, you know, trying to make money and, 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 and work and do what we had to do to take care of ourselves. That's what it was, you know, you know. And T, that brother is a different kind of cat. Trust me when I tell you. You won't find another brother like that. Not like that. So, brother, if you hear me, holla. Because I ain't heard or seen from you in a minute. Since the last time I talked to you, like two years ago almost now? Jeez. You know, so yeah, so uh, there it is, folks. Let's not wake up in the morning and have a fat glass of stupid with a bowl of good eat soup. Let's make sure that no matter what we're doing, we're paying attention to our roads and our highways. We we have to make sure that we arrive alive. And to all my people everywhere around the world, thank you for joining me. If you are coming across this channel first, or uh, this is your first time, uh, please, if you like it, consider liking. Uh, commenting, subscribing, sharing, all of that good stuff, okay? And um, that's it for this segment, folks. I just wanted to, you know, put that out there and, and, and dedicate this show right here to my brother, you know, because I, I, you know, I don't forget about my friends. And I saw that picture today. I was like, wow, let me give my brother his, 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 his kudos right here, okay? So there it is. And... Uh, once I do get an opportunity to talk to him, you know, I'll let you guys see, you know, about this brother right here. All right. T, God bless. Stay safe. One love, brother. Until everybody else, peace. I'm gone.